Okay, we should be alive. Let's see here. Let me get the link. Let's put the link out. Okay. Shut up. Hey, Squishy. Welcome to the stream. Not much, man. Not much. Now that we got that up, we can start playing. Actually, yeah. Mute that. There we go. So I'll just hear myself echoing. Hey, DPG, how are you? I want that raised ladder, bro. Give it to me. Give me that sword. Give me that sword. Okay, fun fact for those who haven't played Destiny 2 on, uh, haven't played Destiny 2 yet. These are two of the the uh, end game versions of these two items I just got. These two weapons are literally two of the best weapons in the game on PS4. In, well, at least the end game versions. There's just no recoil on PC. I love it. Click on that for me. <laughs> That's so much fun. Just assaulting the city. Look at the traveler. Hey, Garrett. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. Headphones so badly, I hate this cable.
Red Legion are well trained, but we are yeah, I did. I saw that. I'm kind of not sure what I, I'm still like kind of I'm excited, but at the same time it's like I'm a little apprehensive because they changed the art style a lot. Oh, I hate this head, I hate this headset so much. Don't let them pass the gate. The evac shuttle is back in. That's how you use a striker titan, boys. We hold here that command ship is next on my. What about Saints Row 4? This is how we do it. That's where y'all have terrible taste in music. Oh my god, this just feels so great on PC. No, they always did have great music, yeah. Like my like literally one of my favorite like and like most memorable things from that from a Saints Row 3 for me was the ending where you're just climbing up like what's supposed to be the Statue of Liberty while uh, holding off for a hero is playing. Just Bonnie Tyler, it's just it's amazing. Oh look, it still has hip fire even on PC. Cause that's not fucking broken. Yeah, Rip and I bought. I mean, it's fine. He just caused more problems than he was worth anyway. Zavala, picked up that guardian you never showed up about? Get him on that command ship, now! Hold on back there! Can I skip this? Okay, good idea. Perfect. There we go. Let us 
snow and the shields are down and we'll hit that ship with everything we got. Uh, I don't know, Garrett just started. We'll know when we get there, which won't be long. But yeah, let's hope that let's hope that Falcon is still just still triggered all hell. That would make my day. Seriously, why use anything else in this part of the game on PC? I mean, even on console, this gun has essentially has perfect hip fire, so it's like. Why not? Let Ron smash. Okay, hold up for a minute, second chat. I'm gonna try something here. Uh, gameplay, reticle, let's try yellow. Okay, I like that. Okay, your first mistake was trying to get up close with a fucking Titan. It's never gonna work. I think I just punched him in the dick. That is... That is amazing. I like the better as red. Uh, you play... Why is my super keep filling up so fast? There's just like no recoil, it's weird. Ravioli, what are you, Badger now? That feels when you slam the entire fucking uh, 
turbine instead of shooting it? Hell yes. Ooh, what'd you get, Squishy? What kind of drinks? And snacks. Tell us all about your Polish delights. Lipton Mountain Dew Fromage. It's fine, we're all too lazy to type anyway. <laughs> Two days after the attack. So I've just been sitting there, un laying there unconscious for two days. That That is something else. So, for, uh... For Halo fans, you might remember... you might This might feel really ODST for you. And for, uh... Battlefield players... You, this, if you remember the uh, one of the early campaign missions for Battlefield Three, very similar to that too. I don't know, Squishy. I don't know. I mean, it could it could have been yeah, but it could have been a zero to hero start. So, where's Hercules when you need him? Look, it's Kate's Robin Shop. Right there. Doggo is still in your room and is trying. And you're trying not to move, so I won't scare him away. Hey, Mr. T, welcome. Okay, Swisher, what you need to do is. What you need to do is just tell your dog not to be scared. I mean, it won't do anything, but. Or you're just being a dick and just, you know, purposely scare it. Consequences be damned. Hmm. 
Four days after the attack. And then there was a falcon. Man, the music is great. That new monarchy sleeping bag, though. I can't resurrect you. We need to be very careful. When in doubt, just punch things. This is what Titans do. That bot's not working, Mr. G. Mr. T. Yeah, that bot's not working today, buddy. I haven't figured out what's going on with it yet. Gotta sit down at some point and figure that out. I don't think about it. What kind of armor is this? Okay, it's all resilience. As a Titan should be. Yep, take your time, Squishy, take your time. I really do have to say, I like these Omelon uh, SMGs, they're pretty good. Especially the legendary one, it basically turns into an energy antiope. Pretty nice. Very nice. Oh my god, this bird is invincible, it's actually the true guardian of the universe needs. 
and then we fall. Uh, cue music, Ruby music. Hey, welcome back, Squish. They started selling ramen like chicken soup. Chicken soup ramen and soy sauce ramen. That sounds. I don't know if that sounds delicious or disgusting. I'm not sure which yet. Soy sauce ramen. Nobody cares, Gary. GG yourself, man. Yes, GGU. You played yourself. We got a ship and we got a shotgun. That's all that really matters. Postmaster, what do you got for me? Okay. Dire gone. Do you have Oh I'm glad to see you safe. I am Tyra. Tyra Khan. I'm sorry. Have we met before? Okay, so it's Hab's the director. Okay. Earth. Welcome to the European Death Zone. That doesn't sound good. Destiny 2, please. What the hell? Oh, thank God. Okay, time to get our powers back. Once you leave the city. 
Man, my guy's still this is, my guy's still pretty pretty floaty for a guy who's lost his lion. I can make it. Bring it. We need shotguns for that shit. Welcome back, Garrett. Put that auto rifle because auto rifles are pretty fucking strong in this game. Also, this is a uh, yeah precision sweet, even less recoil. Boots and new gauntlets. Lucky okay, I have the some mobility class. I don't care. There's a chess piece. I'm liking it. I haven't played in a little bit though. Do need to get back to that at some point. But it is, Metal Gear Solid 5 is pretty fun. The first part of that game is just insane though. And get shotgun. Okay, a full set already.
scared them away. To the shard. Oh, thanks, Sony. Have a good one, man. Hope you enjoy PUBG. Hope you get some lots of monster chicken dinners. And hopefully you get some cheetahs some too. I mean, if he's playing with you right now, eh? This is why we were led here. I haven't been as close to the traveler's light since. Do you feel it? Hold on to your helmet. Nice job, Sony. Oh my god. Okay, we're back in business, boys. Gotta love that shield. Nice. Sniper rifle. Very nice. Cannon. Overall, some nice loot so far. Hey, Freak. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Yes, Freak. All the dislikes. All of them. Dr. Dislike? I can believe it. The only doctor better than Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Dislike. Bubble base, low key thick, low key thick. What is bubble bass or bubble base? Am 
by the power of Grayskull. Look at you. You got your life back. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad. Because we're going to need it. There are a lot more survivors out there. together as the tower burned and now my favorite operative let's see here This Lekatron 5000. Garrett knows what's up. To the European desert we go. Make him in best girl. Mm. I mean, she was great, but I also wouldn't call her best girl. I don't know, man. I, I like the dar I like darkness better. Darkness, darkness. See, see the problem with the problem with Konosuba in general is, I can't really name a best girl because they're all just fucked up in their own ways. I mean, they're all crazy, and you don't stick your dick in crazy, let's be honest. Remember, refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. You want to help them? Find Devil K. Got our hand cannon, got our sidearms, it's always high noon. Always high noon. These are low times, though. It just must be the field of view, but I just feel so much faster on the PC version. Hey Judson. Here I have no teeth. Welcome to the stream. It's a dire times indeed. Devon K, the eighth at your service. City Moon. Yeah, pink and it's for life. Banners over here. This is a fallen house, Sydney. I don't recognize it though. All right. The fallen seem to have put this up as something of a threat. I imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there. Ooh, a Taurus, nice. To get going out here, see if you find a cache in one of the buildings nearby. Schnell, schnell. 
I can't help myself. When we have a German mod, we just have to. Very well done. To survive, we'll have to look for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wilds. In the wilds, there's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. It's lost sector time, people. Oh, is that what that's for? I mean, I was wondering what that was for. Okay. Come on, come on. Yep, this is the game though. Like it's a sci-fi game. It's like I'm willing to let a lot of stuff slide in a sci-fi game. Well, in a sci-fi fantasy game like this, because there's just a point where there's fucking space magic. I don't give a shit anymore. Should have kept the shotgun. Man, after. Uh, no, there aren't. There aren't uh, revolver shotguns, unfortunately. It's 
So in this game, uh, all the so shotguns. Uh, there's three types of weapons you equip at once. There's primaries, which are your kinetics, connects to your primary slot, energy slot weapons, and then there's uh, power weapons. Power weapons are your shotguns, your sniper rifles, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, uh, fusion rifles, which are like a form of uh, shotgun that are like charge of energy bolts. Then there's a uh, grenade fusion rifles. I think that's pretty much it for power ammo. Power weapons. Welcome back. This time I did make tea for you. I seem to have drunk it all. Perhaps if you were a mite quicker. <laughs> right, the beacon. While you were tussling with the fallen, we've encountered a bit of a setback. Hawthorne has placed the last relay on the mountain above the salt mines, but even from that height, the signal still doesn't have the range we expected. It's a bit curious. Regardless, this signal booster should solve our problem. The missions available was the mission at. Up there. Metro 2033. Squishy, I do love that meme only because it's like, us people who don't know about the I Love Amelia meme are just like, what is that? And it's like, and you're just wrong. I would tell you, but I love Amelia. <laughs> poor, poor Rem. We, I think we all agree that Subaru shows poorly, shows very poorly. Nice, Jotun. God damn it, Squishy, that's a terrible joke. Poor, poor Rem. I wish I did too. Don't you mean one a week? You're the reason my hair is gray. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, old man. There we go. We'll have to find another way up to Hawthorne. Careful. The fallen are scavengers of the highest order. They're going to put up a fight for whatever they can get their grubby claws on.
I mean, the only person who might actually get this reference I'm about to make for, uh, is probably gonna be Squishy, but there's an, there's an anime called, uh, Absolute Duo. And that's just what feeling, that's what, that's what playing a shield titan feels like. You just feel like the main character of this fucking shield. And it, and just the fist of fucking god. For, for offensive abilities. Yep, I knew I knew Squishy seen that. S. I knew Squishy seen that. There we go. And now I have the goddamn theme song stuck in my head. God damn it. Also, I love I love how it, like they literally just like the, the whole. This is the really great part of that show where she's like, "I'm from Scandinavia," but she never actually says where in Scandinavia she's from. So you're just left to wonder like, "Yeah, what fucking country are you from?" <laughs> They literally just, they literally list, like, she, every time they talk about her, she's, she's from Scandinavia. It's like this, it's not real, that's like, a, that's a region, not a country. Don't worry, Garrett, I'll turn you to a weeb at some point, don't worry. First it'll be, first it'll be, uh... Initial D, where two car, and then it will, you watch drag, and then more stuff like Dragon Ball Z. And before you know it, before you know it, Garrett, you too will have a waifu, and, and probably a body pillow. Nineties anime is great, though. I love nineties anime. In fact, and actually, one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorite anime is from the eighties, Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. Still a fucking classic. Yeah, running in the 90s. Also, Deja Vu, I've been in this place before. I am the streets. Initial D has just has such great music, it really does. To be fair, a lot of things are inspired by uh, Berserk. We found an elevator. And Garrett, you, this, you should enjoy this, Garrett. Uh, the main character from Berserk himself is inspired by actual historical, like, uh, I want to say he's a medieval German, like, he's like a medieval German noble. I'll give you the name later. But that's the guy who, is in, who inspired the main character of Berserk. Hey, Alyssa. Welcome to the stream.
Wait, how do you not die? First video game you ever played was Berserk. Nice. Oh, you're so nice and nice. You don't even have to kill them at this point, I just do for the experience. Yep, I am. Yes, I am, Garrett. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Okay, while this cutscene plays, I'm gonna get for a quick second and get a drink while the cutscene plays. I'll be right back. Be right back, everybody. We're gonna have to take care of Spider Ice on the way back.
trap it, but the light will find its way. And the traveler will protect itself. The traveler. For years I have studied it. The world it has touched. Its power over life and death. We are not so different, your traveler and I. You are nothing like the traveler. Nothing. You think you have power, control. Okay, I am really, really sorry about that. I don't, I don't know if uh, anybody... I don't know if you guys can see that back there. But my way back, I actually might have been able to. So, on, on my way to get my drink, I saw a giant fucking spider. Like, big thing. So, in front of the fridge. So, I was like... I really don't want to pick this up with my, with say, like, like a paper towel in my hand. So I decided, let me stop real quick. Hey, Splashy, welcome to the stream. And so what I decided to do was, I grabbed, like, I have a little box of, like, a plastic, like, disposable uh, forks. Because I'm a cheap motherfucker who doesn't like to do dishes. So... What was I saying? So... Okay, so I uh, took the fork and I killed the son of a bitch. Then I go, then I flush him down the toilet because fuck you. I mean, the first thing I did was I skewered the son of a bitch. It was hilarious. Like he, tr like he, there's a point where he basically knew, like I can't run away. I'm, I'm been stabbed. I don't mess around. Don't enter, don't enter my house unannounced or uninvited. You will get stabbed. Okay, 34. See, that's the wrong answer, Justin, because I don't let I do not let this shit stand in my house. This is my house, I pay the rent. If they're gonna come in here, they're gonna die. Poor Garrett, poor Garrett comes back, all he hears is this fucking story. What's the button to compare what I already have to? Yeah, I'll buy these. And I have... Poor Squishy. No, see, no, still at you, Justin. I can't. They, they can't expect to come to my house and not and not to die. So. Okay, we're going to Jupiter. I mean, no. I mean, yes, and no, he is. Shit. Is Titan Jupiter's moon or is it Saturn's moon? 
It's one of them. Welcome to Titan, boys. More Mountain Dew. All the Mountain Dew. I swear to God, Judson, I I will, I will take weed posting privileges. <laughs> no bugs in my house, none whatsoever. They, they, if they are found, they are killed. Simple as that. Squishy says he hates emojis, but he's the one who asked me for a bunch of emojis over in Cheetah's Discord. Vanguard Fleet, Guardian Ship Seven Two. This is true, Justin, but I'm going by the search by the Heinlein definition of bugs, aka anything not me. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, I don't really need that. Custom emojis. I love custom emojis. I really do. Like, Aaron and I have talked about this before, but, like, the one I have on my Discord for the, uh... Well, the one I use in all three discords, the waifu one, is just fucking perfect for so many situations. Caterpillars, that's like your college building. Justin, I have to ask, are you a real Robert Highland fan? Because if you are, you, you can't be taking pictures with bugs, come on. Not unless you just kill them. Uh, speaking of Highland, I just picked up a uh, Stranger in a Strange Land from the library to read, so that and uh, Joseph Heller's uh, Catch-22. Yeah, see, for Heinland, it's it's definitely a collector this thing. That's what I was referencing that like is the Heinland definition of bugs, as in anything not us. Like he was very much influenced by the by the uh, McCarthy trials of the time and shit like that, where it's and very much an us against them mentality. We are a little bit under level for this part. Oh, here we go. 
Level 5. See, I don't know, Justin, I would argue that that human's role in nature is just that of the destroyer. That is just like what our species does. God damn it, Garrett. It's my job to be the shitlord, not yours. See, my own personal worldview is that to protect something, something else must be destroyed. Essentially, like, sort of like a... I don't know. It'll be easier to explain when I'm not, you know, currently streaming and getting bum-rushed by Thrall. I mean, I'm the kind of pe person who also rooted for the villains in Captain Planet. That's only because I realized, even at a young age, I'm be like, we're basically being manipulated by some rich guy who has an agenda on the on the fucking planet. Oh shit. Did not mean to throw that. Yeah, Ted Turner is like <laughs> the best way to put just a globalist. But that's enough for politics in the chat, please. Anyway. It looked like the hive were performing some kind of rituals. We should talk to Icon. She knows all there is to know about hive magic. No one has seen. See, I tried to gear it, but then there's just a point where I just heard, you know, from a voice from on up high telling me, for fuck's sake, you can't get any more good at this game. If you do, we're losing our jobs. I mean, it was weird, because I, I never heard the voices of the, the, the Roman pantheon before, but 
Turns out they're a bunch of pricks. Who don't like the fact there's no job security when I'm around. There's the control center. Clear the area so we can move in. Yeah, after all. No, I, I see what you mean. It does actually remind me a little bit of Animal Flux now that you mention it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I messed that one up. Come on and slam, if you wanna jam. Come on and slam, if you wanna jam. You made it slow. Perfect. Recon the perimeter before you move on the control center. It really is though. This game just looks great. The aesthetics are just right, right, right up, eh, right where I like them. Try those things, yep. Yeah. Okay, so. The gunplay feels nice too. It's even smoother on PC. All the holographic sites too.
There we go. Just the dubstep of Titan jumping. I'm running low on uh, connect rounds here. Yosh. Yeah, machine pistols are fun in this game too. All of what's considered like the one of the god of weapons right now for PvP is uh, the burst fire pistol I was using earlier. Well, the final like end game version of it, where it has just like uh, some extra person shit on it. Oh no 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 no! I'm trying to save my super for when the uh... There's gonna be a, a major knight which is gonna have like a yellow bar, it's gonna be even stronger than the other ones. I'm trying to save my super for when he shows up. Oh, he's already here, okay. Usually they're pop up like that. Well, no, this one, uh, this one has just like holographic sites, but then there's also some that have pop up sites. But like pop up red dot sites, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, I have full on this one, yep. Okay, now we get our, uh, now I get my Actium War Raid Exotic. Hell yes. Man, that ship looks, just looks so cool. Find its way back to you. Hey, you peace, God. To Welcome to the stream, bro. Well, 
Well, see, the problem is, there's no use playing full screen because I, I have to use display capture anyway. Because Bungie doesn't support uh, game capture in OBS. Because fuck you, Bungie. Uh, who's Pauldrons? The uh, guy with the blue skin? Because I have I have his set in Destiny 1. Minus the legs. Oh no, okay, one more mission, then I get the guys with more rig. Switch over to Scout right for this one. Yes, yeah, so Zavala. Yeah, that's uh, that was the uh, Jovian set from uh, Destiny One he's wearing. I have the entire set minus the legs in Destiny One. Although I never actually never really wore it. Just because I already have a, like established look for my Titan in that game. Here we go, green colony. Helmet. What level though? I'll clip it now. Sweet. Oh, level 5 now. Here we go. Uh... I think that's it, I just have to put a mark. Oh, do you sweet. There we go, Garrett's ate his, like, what, 20 McNuggets? 20 different, uh, boxes of McNuggets from McDonald's. And now we're back to doing full damage, there we go. Adventures of. Oh, yeah, I forgot you did that. God damn it. I love that. I can't believe they let you name your character Fuhrer. Garrett, how many times have I told you that ravioli, ravioli, we do not lose the dragon loli. Or the lolis in general. No, 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 no. Get, get those suicide bombers away from me. So what did you name your rival, by the way? Did you like just name him like Churchill or uh, or just Roosevelt or something? Or just gonna, like get really meta with it and just have him like name your rival like Marx? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot we didn't go over that. 
Oh, that's a good, great, that's a great question, Garrett. What is the most Nazi-like Pokemon? Uh, I mean, a part of me wants to say Minky, because you know, just because of how he acted in the anime, I just want to say Minky. Or that goddamn, or that goddamn uh, Sparrow from the anime too. No way, I lied. The most, the most uh, Nazi Pokemon would have to be. Uh, what's the what's the legendary from uh, Gold and Silver? I mean, not, sorry, not Gold and Silver from uh, Platinum. From Platinum, because Guaranteed or something, he wants to destroy all the world or something. He wants to like uh, destroy the world and recreate it in his image or something, doesn't he? So it's like he's basically the he's basically Hitler the Pokemon. Yeah, Guaranteed. That's it. Favorite bug Pokemon? Uh, Scyther. Scyther all day, every day. He never said it had, it had to be pure bug down, did he? God damn it, Garrett. Also, who remembers when Charizard was just a fire type and not a fire and flying type? Got some kind of green weapon. What do we get? S Pulse rifle. Fuck, I don't want to use it. You hear that? Uh, I can't say I have it, Judson. Can't say I have. Okay, so, so just on the subject of, you know, like, anime and manga and shit like that, and then talking about, you know, uh, famous, you know, totalitarian governments. I was reading a manga, like, last month, uh, a prequel to a famous manga, the famous manga being, uh, I want to say it's Section Chief, uh, Kosa Kashima, which is, which is a manga about, like, a, uh, a businessman. He's just like he's like a fucking company man. He's just like 
he works at a company, like a, I want to say electric company in Japan. Uh, but so the prequel is about when he first started out of the company. And there's just like this entire, like, multi, like, chapter, like, uh, plot arc about, uh, because the original line was from the 90s and he was already a section chief, so, like, this is taking place in, like, the 70s. And there's an entire section during, uh, during the, the 70s prequel manga, where he's just like, uh, where they have, where, where, you know, Japan is just dealing with, apparently Japan has had, the, had you know, actually had uh, communist, had people attempting communist revolution in Japan. Like, you know, like bombing campaigns and everything. Apparently it was fucking terrible. Hey, Ange. Punch everything. It's the Titan's credo. Control center still dark, so it's got to be more than a piston problem. I have to get in, butts with the circuit breakers. Try the central platform. Everything routes through there. It really is like the most counter revolutionary. It really is. Punch Just like I said. everything. Yeah! Powered back! Exemplary work, everyone. See, the problem with communism, inherently with its, with its ideology, is this. It's one of those things where, where it's one of those things where every, it sounds like a good idea. You know, oh, we're gonna we're gonna redistribute wealth. We're gonna make everybody equal. But there's a there's just a problem with that. Its initial sentiment is the the people the people never end up equal. The party gets all the money. That's how it always ends up. Yeah, it does look like a uh, an AKS, doesn't it? Running thanks to you. There's plenty more to do around here, though. Chief among them, finally breaking ground on a counteroffensive against the Red Legion. I have a plan, but it won't work without you. There we go. And delete that. That. Let's see, 440. Very 
well, those ships aren't gonna fix themselves. That's up to you, Arma. I mean, I like the game, but... Okay, so... Map. Oh, which one is you watching? Peace guy, which, uh, which anime just has, well, eh, what anime got updated? I'm not even sure, sure we're fucking in Arizona Bay right now. Also, for anybody interested, I have a, uh, a video planned, hopefully, the next get done the next week of uh, now that all the shows have had like three weeks in time to you know go look over uh, a bunch of shows this season that I personally watched the first three episodes you know give it a short summary uh, and you know let people know if it's worth continuing or dropping whatever yeah that's one of the only two I have left to watch is uh, I still need to watch that Junae Tayson, uh, Black Clover, and I still need to watch Blend S for the first three episodes of each of those, and then I can watch, my, then I can do my fucking thing. Those are the only three you're watching? You're not watching, uh, uh, Net, uh, Netju? Netju no Suzume? Bruh, please. Also, uh, Dice Airy is just fucking weird. Like, I'll, I'll get into that in the video, but oh my god, is that show fucking weird. See, okay, thing, I'm not the only one, okay, I'm not the only one who thought Black Clover's main character just, like, needs to be punched in his face. I don't get why people keep giving, you know, characters like that. The, uh... Keep making them the main characters, they're just so fucking annoying. I mean, they're only meant to be gag characters. You're, you're not supposed to make an entire fucking show about them. Looks like the fallen are trying to break through those tiles. It's good, but it's just so fucking weird. Like. So the entire first episode, you're, they're just in Nazi Germany the entire first episode. And I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, but everybody should look forward to the, uh, my fall 2017, you know, uh, ep three, three episode rule of video, because I can already promise, just like, I've already started going through the script a little bit, and it is just, like, the most inflammatory, like, like, I could not get, like, a sponsorship from Country Roll, because, or, like, from any anime, you know, from the anime industry, because it's just, I'm just gonna be tearing people a new asshole with this one. Okay, I've got the location. Let's find a way down. Let's see what see what I've get, been able to gather from it is that so uh, you know that giant golden castle thing. We already they've already mentioned that it's Shambhala, which I also know from Full Metal Alchemist is it's like a, I'm not sure the exact you know uh, myth where what world mythology is from, but I know it's from one of them. It's also the name of a Full Metal Alchemist movie because of it. Uh, and it's not just people from the Nazi world either. 
the main character of the series is uh, the blue hair kid. Uh, he's from the French Revolution. Because the fact that he died from the guillotine tells me he's from the French Revolution. One of them. One of them. Oh, I'm fine with characters dying every episode. Like, I've watched enough gun- I've watched enough, uh... Yoshi Tamino production, it's just that, you know, I don't feel anything anymore when a character just dies. I feel nothing. Okay, I, I, I say that, but I still cry about, uh, Murdia Cruz from, uh, Gundam Unicorn. God damn it, none of the Puro clones got a fucking happy ending. It's bullshit. Oh, so that's three updates today. Okay. So the so far the uh, the full scope of the uh, you know the the my video is gonna be uh, for shows uh, net Su no Suzume, uh that that racing anime that's earned the season two car, which that's one of the ones that's gonna get really really inflammatory when I when I start actually getting to that part of it. Cause that show is just, it's so terrible. Um... I'll have to give you, I'll have to get a list. I'll put a list together on the Discord when I'm not actually getting shot at. Oh, here we go. That sounds about what I'm watching to run 11. Then again, like the one. Then again, like the one caveat for uh, when I do shows is I only have Crunchyroll, so if it isn't already on Crunchyroll, I'm probably not going to be able to do a video about it. Son of a bitch. I don't know, man. I like binge watching shit too. Like, I'll watch like one or two and then I'll just start binging some catalog show. Like, for example, uh, Crunchyroll just got some new catalogs in recently. Like, like, just the other day, they added all of Haru Haruhi Suzumiya for catalog. I was so happy, because I've not actually sat down and watched all of Haruhi Suzumiya. Darkness, darkness.
And that's why I love acting more rigged. It reloads my weapons for me. Well, auto rifles anyway. And besides, if you're playing a Titan without an auto rifle, what the fuck are you doing? Monster Musume is, like, I'm not going to pretend like it's, like, the greatest thing ever. Like, it's like, a, I'm not going to sit here and say it's like, oh, it's the citizen king of our time. But, like, you know, like, but for, for fucking anime about fucking monster girls, it was surprisingly enjoyable. Also, just because, just because I want to stir some shit, uh... Uh, Lala, best girl. Cause she was. You can't deny it. The manga is actually pretty good too. I've been reading the manga. See, I'm, I'm, see, I have to agree that um, Mia was actually fucking great, and I will say that when she goes, darling, my heart just, you know, my heart starts, you know, being a thousand beats per minute, but otherwise, I can't stand her, like, obsessive, how, how much she, like, how fucking obsessive she is. Obsessive, like, possessive. That's possessive. She's way too fucking possessive. But Jesus Christ, the darling is just, like, every time, it's like, mm, yes, please. Like I don't, I haven't actually said. I don't remember what scenes were actually adapted into the anime yet, but there are just so many great moments in the manga with uh, the Dolahan Walla. She's just, she's fucking hilarious. Uh, if you've only read the anime, if you only watched the anime. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of other shit showing up. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, oh my God, since you. I don't think the anime got to it, but there's a point where, uh, where Mia's mother, Centura's mother, and, uh, and Poppy's mother all come in, and it's great. And then later you get to meet, uh, and then later you get to meet, uh, the mermaid's mother. She's just fucking hilarious. Yep, Halo style. I don't know, I, I, pref I kind of actually prefer manga in it over anime at this point. I don't know why. Uh, what was I reading last night? I was reading Excel World. I started Excel World last night. The manga, it was like, and it's just, oh my god, it's so good. And as I'm reading this, I'm just like, oh my god, does this actually have a story? Am I actually liking the main character of a Reki Kalhara work? What the fuck is this? Cyber Hunter, not sure about it, but uh, no, I haven't seen the anime for Excel World. I'm trying to figure out. Apparently, it's on Hulu, but I'm not fucking paying for Hulu, so I'm probably just gonna watch it online because fuck Hulu. Okay, so, uh, uh, Justin, just so you know, uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, Michael, uh, just send that to me in the DMs there, because I need, I need that site. Uh, second of all, uh, Justin, if it's Korean or Chinese, they don't use the term manga themselves. They use, I believe it's pronounced manhao, manhao, like it's manhao or something like that. In fact, there's a really great, uh, Chinese, uh, series I'm following called uh, The Silver Gatekeeper. That's it, Manoir. The Silver Gatekeeper is pretty fucking good. I know there's an anime, I never watched the anime, I just, I just couldn't fucking put up with it. 
The main character's voice annoyed me. Uh, In short, sir, the war is over. I mean, actually, like, China is actually stepping up and putting out some really, a lot of great shows and stuff that... Okay, that looks more correct. Uh, China is actually giving Japan a decent run for the money right now. With last year's, uh, or is it this year's? What was it? Uh, about like esports MMO players. Uh, the King's Avatar. Oh my God, that was so good. And Silver Gatekeeper. I know, me too, right? And now, they threaten our very existence. We're going all in on this. Almighty. Also, Michael, uh, fun fact, one fun story. As as that was airing every week, I one of my uh, best friends in my uh, Final Fantasy fourteen guild actually is Chinese, and she's like she's from Hong Kong, and she studies in uh, over in Vancouver for college. And so, every week I'm just like, did you see this ep week's episode of, uh, I, I, and I always try to say it, she goes, oh, you mean that? I'm like, uh, and she goes, yeah, yeah. And we just talked about it every week. It was great. Yeah, hopefully they hurry up with that season two of, uh, King's Avatar. Okay, speaking of anime. Anybody have an opinion on uh, Kimono Friends and the uh, and the and and the uh, corporate or the director? What do they call themselves? Sacking the director and then all of the uh, and then all the staff saying "fuck you, we're leaving too." Which one's Quan? Which one's Kwanzi? Is that the, uh... I couldn't remember this name. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember the... I, I'm not good with the Chinese names. Okay. Report. Missions. Uh, was... Was that the one about the, uh... Was that the one that they call the Silver Gatekeeper here? Probably not. Requires level seven. Give me a sit rep. I think my friend recommended me that actually. Like, one of, another one of my MMO buddies is just, like, really into, like, just Chinese, uh, manual for some reason. Oh, uh, speaking of manga, uh... I'll have to get the name later, but there's, like, he... And his normal job is he's just like a, he does like uh, hentai dojins for a living, but now he actually has like an actual like n like normal manga just in publication, and it's fucking weird. Because every time I'm reading, I'm like, I, all I can think of is, this is the guy. This is the guy. I've seen this guy's manga, the hentai manga before. This is this is I, I can't deal with this right now. Versatile mage. Yeah, uh, a couple of manga recommendations for people who like, uh, who like the idea of, uh, the MMO, you know, MMO RPG anime, mo anime manga, but didn't like the shit that happened with, uh, we're more disappointed with, uh, Sora Alliance for the normal reasons. Uh, one of them is 
a m manga called uh, VR MMO something Toru no Osan or something like that. Well, no, Lock Horizon is obvious. Everybody should fucking watch Lock Horizon. Lock Horizon is fucking brilliant. Because Lock Horizon decided that it. Like, the author of Lock Horizon had a great idea, and that was. The only thing more interesting than telling a story about players in an MMO is telling the stories about how communities form in MMOs. But, uh. So the, uh. The, uh. VR MMO Toru no Osan, I think that's, how you, that's the name, is a really interesting one. Where he's basically like a super cat, like he, he only can play a couple hours a night of this VR MMO game after work. Oh, Overlord was so good. Oh, I loved Overlord. And then actually, the other recommendation from the uh, MMO RPG manga would be uh, Only Sense Online. I think that's the name of the uh, manga. Oh, that one is just like a look. That one's just more fan service than the other one. Overlord was so good, though. I mean, if you've enjoyed uh, Lock Horizon. If, and if you wanted like a more like a romantic love story, like in that kind of style, I would recommend uh, Net Netogy, which I believe the English title is You Never Thought There Was a Girl Online. It is a surprisingly heartwarming uh, MMORPG one. Also, I just laughed my ass off so many times during that show. I mean, anybody's ever seen the... Uh, the uh, the pub sections of uh, Cheetahs and Butler's Discord, our art should be somewhat aware of it because I just post the uh, normie scene all the time. Oh, is that the if you're talking about uh, Net uh, Netshu no Suzume, That's the one I was talking about earlier. Was uh, airing right now. That's one about a 30 year old woman who, uh, after having a, after having a terrible experience, you know, the last 12 years at her work, just you know, quits and decides to become a neat. Uh, and actually, it's really uh, heartwarming so far. Also, speaking of story online, like I just saw like the most bullshit article in Crush World the other day about uh, the person was trying to contr you know compare uh, Sword Art Online and Net Netju no Suzume for some like some collectivist you know uh, like gender identity some some nonsense about you know trying to push a fucking narrative and I was just like. I was like, you know, Sir Online, despite all the shit it actually gets, it is one of the only anime I've seen actually sit there and tackle the, sit there and tackle terminally ill gamers, you know, terminal illness, disability, mental illness, and it's just like, of all the shit that Sir Online gets, it does deserve some, it does deserve some fucking credit. Oh yeah, A1 Pictures has some beautifully, uh... See, the other plus for, uh, one of the other pluses for Sword Online is just their animation. It's just so beautiful. The fight scenes in SAO are great. Although, I would argue that the fight scenes from, uh... Oh, you mean, okay, yeah, you meant, like, heavy subjects, okay. Yeah, like, uh, the, Yuki and her whole, uh... 
terminus, terminal illness. That really gets me every time. Also, uh, if you've never actually read the Sword Art Online uh, light novels, don't worry, don't just trust me, don't. It's not worth it. But I will say they actually get even worse somehow because if you actually read the light novels, you, like if you remember the guy from like the, when they clear the first dungeon, uh, first floor dungeon, he's like the guy leading the uh, raid team. Can't think of his name right now. Uh, the one who dies during it, and Kirito plays himself. That shit. If you actually read the if you actually read the light novels, you do not feel sorry for him whatsoever, because he's just an asshole who literally you know hires some another player to try to steal Kirito's sword because everybody wanted Kirito's sword because he had some like a rare he had like a uh, souped up sword or something. It's just like oh my god, this this story actually gets worse if you read the light novels. How is this a fucking thing? Although I am enjoying, I'm really enjoying, uh, reading Excel World, though. Although it's just really weird for me to be like, oh my god, I'm actually enjoying something by Rekki Kawaharawa. I'm actually enjoying the main character from a Rekki Kawaharawa show. It's like, what the fuck is this? So that just shows me that he, he can. He can do it, he just needs to stop being an idiot. Oh, you're fucking with me. It does not take place in the same world. Just end my suffering. There was a great uh, YouTube joke. Uh, there was a great YouTube joke about during the airing of uh, Iro Manga Sensei because when uh, Sword Art Online, there's a little scene for the uh, when they're doing the when they're, the whole novel contest thing is going on, and it's and you just see like a uh, Kirito from Sword Art Online. The main character is from. Uh, uh, regular magic high and I figured who was the third one Toradora I think it was Toradora and one of the my favorite one of my anime YouTubers I like just made a joke about how it's just time for the Emoto cinematic universe just lost my shit the Emoto cinematic universe I'd be fine with that oh yeah and because uh, the girl from uh, Oriemo showed up Speaking of the, speaking of that asshole who wrote uh, Oriemo and Iramaga Sensei, this season's uh, a little sister is all you need. Like the for legitimately the first thing I did, I, I looked up like, oh god, he already has another show out, and I was like, oh no, this is by that guy for once. What the fuck? Irregular Magic High was so good. It was so good. Speaking of which, for the movie, uh, you ever hear if the movie's actually gonna cover, uh, cause like, where the show left off, the next arc from the, the light novels would have been, uh, where they actually go back and explain, uh, they go back in the past and explain the whole, uh, how interlinked all the incidents were, like how, uh, How those two Chinese guys were only there because of uh, the main character's, uh, you know, uh, their house when you know, just decided to go fuck over China, 
the Chinese Republic or the Chinese Federation because of uh, some terrorist group there kidnapped and tortured one of their uh, members. I can't really say much more about giving it away though. Okay, we'll do one more adventure, and then I'm gonna probably call it for the stream, and then just chill until the cheetah's ready. Oh no, power! That sucks, Alyssa. Actually, really fast wins. What the fuck? What should work? We'll call it a hive disruptor. Let's go disrupt some hive. Also, in case anybody is curious, I'm currently averaging around 50 frames per second. Which is almost, which is like 20 frames higher than the, uh, what the console version is locked into. Five plus? What? What the fuck? Do I have any abilities yet? Level eight. Okay, that's what I want.
I wonder if hey, Garrett, are you still here? I still have a question for you. Oh, that's a shrieker. That's why I hate shrinkers. Level seven. Hey, have a good one, peace God. Thanks for hanging out, bro. Enjoy the anime. It's essentially just a P98's loading system, essentially. What was that? I could feel the shaking from here. What did you do? And that's what I would describe. It's basically just a P98 in like marksman rifle form. That's one way to kill high. Which one, Metro Exodus? Haven't really looked into it yet.
screws can't fix in a day or two. Really, it looks as good as new. More importantly, the resonator's gone. <sighs> I'll take your word for it. Well, I mean, technically, the P98 also loads from the side because it's a you, you put it in straight, but it technically is like then it goes to like an L-shaped thing and it's fed in through a uh, to the side as well. Uh, this is what they call uh, police style sites. Ghost rings, yeah, I love ghost rings. You, there's a. Which kind of battlefield do I like the ghost ring on? I think we're gonna end it there. Thanks for everyone for joining me in the stream today. This is had a great time actually. We'll probably be uh not sure if I'll actually be streaming one with Cheetah later. I might not be, just so I can, you know, answer any question he has really quickly. But other than that, uh a lot more Destiny 2 is coming up. So I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh I'm sorry, my brain is mush right now. So hopefully more streams are coming, gonna be a lot more frequent. Well this but in the end this is it for this one. Hope I'll catch each of you in the next one. Have a great day. This is Sir Glefner signing out.